very interested in BIA ALCL because I have a long commitment with our French syndicate and I am the general secretary of the French syndicate SNCPR and I am board of the subset uh, committee and survey committee. So we get very interested with BIA ALCL. We just say that. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I go on. My dear friends, so the French regulation experience, because you all know now about BIA ALCL, because we are highly professional all around the world. And of course, even when the first case in 1997 was described by Kish and Al, we, we started to say, whoa, what's going on? Is it a lymphoproliferative disorder? But in 2011, we were obliged to, to say that it is a part of being a lymphoproliferative disorder. It is an anaplastic large cell lymphoma, lymphoma, lymphoma cell T, with two important markers, ALK negative and CD30+. This pathology mostly expresses itself with spontaneous seroma and uh, that's where we are now. Uh, so how did it start it all? It started with the, in France with the PAP crisis. I need to remind you that because all our trouble came with this lady, French lady, Professor Agnès Buzyn, hematologist. And in 2011, she's president of Cancer National Institute and health minister from 2017 to March 2020. And she's the one responsible of PIP implant explantation order to French plastic surgeon and ban of macro textures and polyurethane implant in April 2019. So just remember that in March 2010, we have this big PIP media crisis. And in December 2011, we receive order to explant 30,000 patients. We remove all these implants in three years and most of them were normal implants. But anyway, 2011, big first French case of BIA AFCL. Of course, French plastic surgeon organization are aware of the pathology and start following up very carefully. But since December 2011, we have a big media crisis in France and we have now new patient association, totally unre unreasonable, become to help with the implants, you know. So, the problem is that most PIP patients were re-implanted with Allergan Biocell. Why? Because they were very dynamic commercially and they were highly represented, independently of their technical quality or whatever. So we had a lot of Biocell. So first Biocell BIA AFCL report by INSM is July 2018, the first official one. But what is INSM? This is our national regulation agency for security of medicaments and implants. So in 16 November 2018, the profession prepare a soft separer. Soft separer is a big plastic reconstructive and aesthetic surgery society. Start doing a BAARCL symposium based on the first 54 French cases. 2008, in, 18, we have 54 cases in France. 19 November, the French the Directoire, who represent all the professional, Sopsepere, Sopsep, Sopsep is a French plastic, big French plastic aesthetic surgery, and at the level belonging also a member of ISAPS. And we have Plastiris accreditation system organization. We have also the syndicate, SNCPRE, and we have the college. This is the organization for continuous medical education. So all of us, we decided to say, to make a press conference November 2018 and say, we recommend no more biocell and we do communicate it to the media. And where are we now? We are now that we are now 2020 March. We have 77 French cases. We have five days, but mainly due to late diagnosis of lymphoma and patient loss for two patients, progression of their breast cancer for two patients and one who died from heart attack. So we have, most of the, these cases are in situ, fortunately. We have 80% of remission with simple explantation and removal. The, 
only 35 cases infiltrative, and we notice that we have epigenic mutation in 75 cases. So you see other figure, median delay from last implantation, seven years. And of course, we start to realize that the time of the lapse of exposure to this, to this breast implant might be important. Mo most of these patients, 69% had biocell macrotextures implant. Most of these implants were silicone filled. We go on. 29, 21 November 2018, in a press conference, ignoring the profession, professional conclusion, INSM, our regulation the, our agency, recommends a smooth implant only. So as professionals, we are quite disappointed what's going on. They also announced two-day public hearing on 7, 8 February 2019 with patient association, wow, implant industry, other international governmental agency, and plastic surgeon who were finally invited. Here we are. This is two days hearing, 2019. And on one side, you have the girls, and on this other side, you have the boys. And all the friends, fortunately, plastic surgeons, who came from all around the world to defend, to testify and defend textures implant and try to stay scientific and not emotional. 8th of February 2018, the French syndicate, we decided to do a press conference because we wanted the journalists to take home a message INSM, our regulation system, is smart enough to follow recommendation of the profession. It should be like this. And we, of course, started working for the European Implant Safety Task Force creation, collaborating also with Azoma. But 6 March 2018, 19, sorry, we received, it's a mistake, the French lab received uh, a memo from INSM, except mentor. How can it be? You won't be allowed to use macro, uh, macro textures. Your texture is not allowed anymore. And without any delay, for, for, for April 2019, ban. Macro textures and polyurethane surface implant are prohibited in France. So we have more than 95 type of implant we are getting out of our operating room. So how we will treat 20% of our patients who are really in need of these textures and polyurethane surface implants? That's the question. This is a French paradox. INSM didn't follow the expert conclusion. At the end of these two days public hearing, they communicate and they say that only they didn't want any more biocell surface commercialized in France, and it was only biocell removal. Since then, they ha there is no new data. Failed statistics in the French data. We still, have, we still don't have some figures. We still don't know how many implants were sold per year, which type of implant, which brand. So for us, for a French plastic surgeon, the name Macrotextures Biocell became the worst message to our patient. Oh, it's safe, but not allowed anymore. And anyway, keep it. So we didn't say keep it, but we asked the government, well, you say that, so you have to take your responsibility, but keep it, we don't recommend explantation. So of course, if a patient wants explantation, we can't refuse. We want a patient to feel safe and secure. Since then, we have so many articles of quality on BIA, ALCL, more than 200. But anyway, we had this French publication on only 36 cases by Dr. Catherine Bruant Rodier, because she's a breast reconstruction surgeon. But you see, she doesn't have all the figures. And we're still asking ourselves if banning textures implant to prevent BIA ALCL was a rational decision. And in the profession now, we still have contradiction and we don't agree. Anyway, we need to give tribute to these two private as associations because they are the one in France who help us plastic surgeons to understand why some women have BIA ALCL with their breast implant. This is LISARC and Lymphopath. Lymphopath is a private association, no governmental money, from uh, anatomopathologist, and LISARC is an association of hematologists. So at least they do a great job, and we are collecting with a French plastic, young French plastic surgeon, Romain Bosque, we are trying to understand with a few data we have. So we are still searching. 
why, what promotes condition or create condition for BIA and Breast implant inner content? Of course, we know that silicone is more aggressive than saline. Shell characteristic? How is the surface? Contamination? Patient health statue and story? Genetics? Becomes a big, big interrogation. The time of exposure also, and probably so many things. So we have a lot of publication of great quality on silicone particles uh, incriminated all around the world by friends, colleagues, delamination of biocell. Okay, the role of a silicone particle in uh, creating, promoting inflammation. Characteristic of biocell, but we always need to be very concerned about conflict of interest and we need to stay scientific and not emotional. Contamination of the wall. Of course, more you have textures, more you have surface. And probably, yes, we have more risk of contamination. This is all true, but taking all the precautions to avoid bacterial contamination will not suppress this pathology because there is something else in between. Again, publication on shell contamination, so that's why with IMCAS, we decided to organize, and there was a great success from IMCAS, and Dr. Shondor um, mentioned this, Annual World Congress 2020, January 2020. We knew all the plastic surgeons in the world, we had to collaborate and we had to try to understand what happened for this patient and why we have this BIA ALCL. But I want to insist on the fact that this is still a very rare disease. What is the situation now in France? We still have smooth implant and micro textures. No more macro texture, no more polyurethane. Of course, we put now less shape implant. This is evident. So we had a big questionnaire from Softset. It was a very excellent initiative. We decided we need to ask our plastic surgeon, how did this ban affect your practice? What are the change? And of course, for impact on reconstruction, 62 plastic surgeons decided to say, yes, it's really impacting our practice. For aesthetic, not so much. Again, how are the reconstruction results? How are your results? Is, they are worse, it's 54%. For aesthetic, quite the same. Do the round implants are adapted in reconstruction? No. Do all the reconstru reconstruction cases can be autologous? No. So we came to a conclusion that not only BIA ALCL's public media crisis affected the patient, but also the consequence for the specialty because we, we have some division and sometimes we have some crisis. But it's really also lighting up incompetency of regulation sy systems and agencies in France, but also all around the world. And we are all facing now very aggressive patient association and the new BII association, notably in America. So in conclusion, I would say that the French directoire recommends, this is a French big regulation uh, and uh, organization assembling all of us, recommend regular follow-up of women with breast implant as cancer detection as we did before, but probably earlier we have to do some psychotherapy for the patient and also for some doctors. Some industries started class action and protest, but not many. French syndicate SNCPRE initiated an official complaint June 2019 for abusive decision. But of course, we are in France and this is administration. We are still waiting. They shift us from one to a tribunal to another one. Anyway, we still disagree and we will go on fighting. More breast implant complications, Sébastien Garçon will um, talk about it, displacement, contractures, more replacement, and still some patient in need of this implant. So that's what I have to say. Thank you for your attention.